Well, welcome back to 12 Wing Studios. Um, this wasn't meant to be the first uh, video from the studio, uh, but I saw something last night that was a little disturbing. Uh, a fellow Tesla owner, Tesla Model S owner, named Alex Guberman, he posted a video about uh, a series of break-ins. Now, these thefts were using a, a known vulnerability that the thieves use for breaking into most cars. They uh, smash a rear window or a small window in the, in, the, in the very back to allow them access to the seat mechanism to lower that down. And at that point, they decide whether or not to continue. They drop the seat, see if there's anything in there, and then they, and then they go in. Um, it isn't all bad news for Tesla owners, though, because... In watching his video, I realized, mm, well, there is a, a, something that the Tesla vehicles have going for them that a usual that a standard vehicle doesn't. And that is, is that what the thief will do in a normal vehicle, I expect, to make this quicker, is that after deciding whether or not they want to go into the vehicle or not, what they'll do is they'll break the front window, open the door, and then next to the seat, they'll pop the trunk and then go around and, and deal with it that way. Uh, it also makes it look to an outside observer like, you know, less like something crazy is going on. Um, well, I noticed that the seat latch in the Tesla was a relatively easy thing to secure. And if the seat latch in a Tesla is secure, then you're not able to then get in as easily you'd have to really destroy stuff really work at it and uh and i don't know that they're willing to maybe draw that much attention to themselves um alex had suggested uh things like well don't leave anything in the back and then they can't steal it and that that makes sense on one level but if he's like i am you know fairly frequently we bring a decent amount of gear with us and it's just not practical to then schlep it inside every time we, you know, we stop someplace. So um, in watching his video, uh, I thought, oh, well, there's got to be a, a, a more engineered solution to this. And so I went out and took a look at my car, and certainly there, there was a really quick solution to it that anybody can do, and it will really help secure your vehicle. So uh, I'll pull up some uh, clips that I've recorded earlier um this is the window that we're talking about the the side uh rear window uh it doesn't open it's a little small window at the uh, at the very rear that's the one they smash to get to that handle and what you'll notice about the handle i did a quick kind of little engineering check on it well you know how how quickly does the handle engage? Uh, how much throw does it need before it will actually release the seat? And it, it actually looks like it's a considerable amount of throw. You have to get that thing almost all the way pulled back before it will actually release the seat. And so that also is really good news. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drill a hole through the plastic handle to insert a pin through and that will make it so that you're not able to just pull in and release it. So the pin will then be, uh, it'll be a, a clevis type pin with a hole for a lock so that you can put a very basic lock through the thing. Um, I think a, uh, uh, a combination, uh, even just a cheap combination lock will probably be a good way to do it. Um, even if your combination is something stupid and easy to remember, all ones, all zeros, all nines, it's not something likely that they're going to be able to take their time and fumble with in the dark to figure out. So that'll be, uh, uh, that'll be a good solution. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and over the weekend, I'll, I'll engineer the, the actual solution and I'll put another video up to show everybody how they can take care of this relatively quickly and i'll also post the uh, the parts list that i use i'm going to try and draw everything off of things that are readily available on amazon so that anybody can very quickly do this and if you're not handy uh with a with a drill or you don't feel confident that you can drill it straight or whatever this is something that you'll be able to to video take the, the youtube video and show it to a handyman uh doesn't even need to necessarily be a mechanic 
uh, and they'll be able to very quickly do this for you. And the reason it's important that everybody be able to do it, and it be something that isn't a, uh, uh, ugly to look at, it's something that everybody will feel comfortable in, in having done. The reason that it's really important that everybody do this is, is that the more people do this engineering solution so that they can't get into the back seat, the uh, fewer Teslas will be broken into. Because like I said, this is a vulnerability that other vehicles have that Tesla doesn't actually have. Because if that seat doesn't come down, there is no way that you're going to get into that trunk unless you have the fob. Um, you know, and, Well, not no way, but you understand what I'm saying. No, no way that isn't going to look like you're obviously trying to tear a vehicle apart. Um, the... Uh, the thing that really prompted this was that Alex in his video, and I'll I'll post a link to his video. It's a great video. Um, Alex in his video identified that a friend of his, 50 miles away, saw the exact same vehicle on his dash cam breaking into his Tesla. Mm. Two Teslas is not a coincidence, gang. W they are obviously targeting Teslas because it's a luxury vehicle. It's a higher priced vehicle. And they know that the likelihood that they're going to find some goodies in the back is greater than if they went and busted into a Mazda or Honda. So um, that's it for now. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, follow up this video in a couple of days with uh, my engineered solution after I've had an opportunity to think about it for uh, uh, for a couple of days and go over what parts are readily available on uh, uh, on, on Amazon. So uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed this first video. We'll uh, follow it up with a couple more where we'll give you an actual tour of the studio. I think you might be, find that to be kind of uh, uh, interesting. I don't know. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, again, I'm going to link to Alex's video so that you can have a look at that and see what you think. Uh, and thanks for watching. hope you uh, like and subscribe. There will be many more engineering-based uh, videos to come. We'll be doing a technological series, a technology series on uh, home batteries and solar, um, charging the Tesla, running a home strictly off of uh, Tesla power walls. And so, again, check back often, and I uh, hope to see you again soon.